guys, it's Mike from KO8. Uh, I hope you're all staying safe at home. I'm going to take you through a really tricky little workout today, okay? The focus of today is push-pull legs with core, but it's a, it's a unilateral workout and it has loads of anti-rotational movements in it, okay? So you should really feel this today. I'm going to take you through a, a low anchor point, double-banded workout for myself, and I'm going to be doing 10 reps, okay? This is an auto-regulated workout again, guys, okay? If you want to drop it to one and grease the groove and get the movements correct, then progress it, then it's up to you, okay? Your rest periods as well, guys, that's on you. So we're going to be needing to switch positions a few times for the workout. So just take your time, compose yourself, and get these movements correct. Okay, the first, first movement that we're going to go through today, guys, is a rotation punch, okay? Like I said, it's a low anchor point. Make sure you lock the door if you can. Um, and I'm in a side-on position, okay? So from here, I'm gonna load up this right arm, okay? And again, thinking about pre-loading the bands, guys. You don't want any slack in the KOE before you start the movement. So get in a nice position, load your hips, okay? So you're nice and dynamic. From here, we're gonna rotate, pivot on that back foot, and punch up in the air, okay? Pick a, pick a spot as well, guys, okay? On the horizon or on the, on the ceiling and try and aim for the correct spot or the right spot every time. Again, my head is gonna follow the movement up. I'm not gonna come across my body. My torso is gonna rotate and you'll really feel it load up your obliques, okay, guys? So from here, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, a lovely push variation, guys. Remember these fundamental movement patterns. It's getting upper chest. It's also getting a hell of a lot of anterior delt and medial delt, okay? And you also get your tricep on that. That's the first exercise, guys. We're gonna go for 10, like I said. If you need to go more, go more. If you need to reduce the bands, reduce the bands. Okay, we'll go on to the next one. Okay, guys, the next one is a lunge variation. And as you can see, I've only got the harness on one shoulder. Again, this anti-rotational property. This is trying to pull me back towards the anchor point, okay? So I'm having to engage everything, including my hips, my glutes, my hamstrings, even my core, my obliques, to get my hips straight. From this position, I'm gonna stay nice and tall. I'm gonna take a nice step out, load that front foot, okay? But maintaining this tall torso, extended thoracic, and keeping square. From here, my weight is in my heel. I'm gonna press back without turning my body, okay guys? So that's one. I'm gonna go through it. Principle, stay straight, lunge forward, down, and up. Good, stay square. Good, think about your breathing, guys. Get tight in that top position and drive, good. You should be engaged anyway. Just this force in this anti-rotation should engage all your core anyway, okay, guys? Six, good, four more, guys. Good, three more reps. Good, keep that weight in that heel if you can. Drive up, last one. Good, awesome guys, well done. Next one. Okay guys, the next one's a really tricky one. Like I said, I've got two bands on this. I'll recommend going to one just to try it out first. If it's easy, then go to two, okay? It's a tall post into a, like an RDL sort of hinge position, okay guys? And then you're gonna come out of the hinge position back into the tall post. Because of the, the bands pulling you back, you really have to engage to get this extension, okay? You'll feel all your back working really hard together. So the way I do this is I get hold of the handle, I get a comfortable position for both my hands, okay? I make sure that the handle and the band is running down the center of my head and along my spine line, okay? From here, all right down hand to engage everything because otherwise it's gonna pull me backwards, okay? So from here, I, again, you say brace, but it should already be braced. From here, my first initial movement is to soften my knees ever so slightly. From there then, I'm gonna break my hips, go into a hinge, 
And if you've ever done the dowel hinge movements, guys, where there's three points of contact with the dowel, that's kind of what we're looking for. Really neutral spine position, loading our posterior chain, our hamstrings and our glutes. Okay, my ears again in the way. We go hinge, drive through, and squeeze. When you get the hips to full extension, you'll really feel the band try and pull you back. We don't want that, okay? So there's two guys, I'm cheating. I'm gonna brace, hinge up and brace. Three, four, good. Five, really control that guys. Six, good. Keep your arms in line with your ears if you can. Seven. <clears throat> Eight, good guys. Nine, one more. Ten, quality guys, okay? Really tricky with that. Okay, and next. Okay guys, the next variation is a low archer row variation, okay? I love this one. Basically, I'm front on to the anchor point, the low anchor point, and my hand is already pronated, okay? I'm gonna let my shoulder come round and in. What I'm doing here is I'm rotating and driving my elbow back as I turn my torso, so you'll get a hell of a lot of lat, but you'll also feel your oblique and your lower, lower sort of erector spin is really light up, okay? And it's just a cool exercise. So from here, I'm front on, shoulders brought into this front line, okay? And from here, my elbows up, and I'm driving it back. Okay, this is why it's called an archer row, guys. So looks like I'm about to let an arrow go, and you can feel all this really working. Okay, there's three reps, guys. Nice and dynamic with my split stance position, okay? Shoulders come round, my hand is pronated, and I'm just taking him to neutral on this, guys, okay? No need to take it into su a supinated position because on this, my even though it's a back exercise, my the, the sort of origin and insertion points of the lat are actually going away from each other on this. So you'll feel it a lot more in your anterior, sorry, in your posterior delt, your rhomboids, and your traps, okay? But the oblique is the one that gets the most on this. That's eight. Nine, one more guys. Ten, quality exercise that one guys, enjoy it. Okay guys, this next variation most closely resembles a landmine rotation, okay? However, it's totally different. Because of the low anchor point and the band, the muscles that are used are, are really different. So I'm in a, like I said, low anchor position. I'd use one band on this guys, just to be safe, just until you feel the move. There's lots of integrated movements in this. You're, you're rotating on your feet, okay, while maintaining that fully extended position. So I get tension on the band, okay? Take it up above my head. Okay, I'm braced. You feel all your posterior delts, your rhomboid, your traps, everything kicking, as well as your, your lower back muscles, okay? From here, I'm gonna rotate over and pivot on that left foot and then pivot over. So when you start pivoting and taking it down, you start feeling your obliques, okay? A six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Keep it going, guys, keep pivoting. And 16, wow, my shoulders are on fire. Okay, lovely variation, guys. Like I said, try it on the one band. Give yourself plenty of space to be able to pivot in that full extended position, okay? Enjoy. Okay, guys, that's the workout for today. Well done for following along, and, uh, and well done for staying active, guys. I know it's tough times, but it's, uh, it makes a really big difference if you are keeping the circulation going and keeping those muscles activated. I'm personally not a big fan of cool downs or stretching after workouts, but after all that anti-rotation, you may, or personally I am, I'm feeling it in my obliques a little bit, okay? So it might be worth just lengthening them out a little bit. So the way I do this, guys, okay, I put it into a, into a harness mode. 
and I grab hold of the strap and just get my arm into that sling, okay? Just on the point of the elbow and then I'm just going to lean forward, you'll feel it right through your lats, okay? But if I just turn my body so there's a bit of lateral flexion and lateral extension, it'll just be a nice stretch through this, uh, through this sling system and through these obliques, okay? Okay guys, okay. take care and uh, any questions or comments, fire away.